How are you guys today? We are down at Frankie's Free Range Meat and I'm feeling a little better. It's around noon. Uh, I got up at 4 a.m. Uh, to film yesterday's video, which was about uh, the Colorado Meat Act. You know, came down here at around 7. Felt like I was going to die for an hour or two. And I was thinking, you know, if my supplements actually work, then you know, let me actually take them because I usually have been feeling pretty good lately and I don't need any pick-me-up or anything but you know, I went down I grabbed an antioxidant support and a vitamin B complex and just within you know literally a minute of taking them I felt so much better and the vitamin B complex is basically all of the B vitamins that naturally occur in meat and the antioxidant support is the natural antioxidants in your body that are created by B vitamins so uh, glutathione, N-acetylcysteine, uh, some ascorbic acid for vitamin C. All of those are absorbed very quickly, even like in the oral cavity. So I feel okay now. Obviously, I don't feel like a million bucks. It's not a cure-all, but I feel substantially better than I did uh, earlier. I was about to have my lunch, and I kind of wanted to go over a couple of things today. You know, not really focus too much on the negatives, but just outline, I guess, simplistically what the vision and where I see this business going. You know, I mean, I feel like I haven't even done five, 10% of what I like to do. I have so many ideas in my head that I, I don't even wanna really share what I'm gonna share today, but might as well. Uh, but I'm sure you guys wanna see my lunch because I haven't done a day of eating in a little while and that's what you guys have been asking for. So I only do this like once a week just because it's a pain to pack up a lunch and I only really need it when I'm doing a lot of physical labor and I get tired. So here I actually have uh, a venison and barley stew with mushrooms and onions, some red wine, some beef broth. There's my cookies. Here I have some digestive enzymes and this is my water key for all bottled up. So have everything I need to, you know, keep my gut healthy, digest the food properly, carbohydrates, protein, fats, everything I need to keep going. Now I try to focus on the future and what this is going to be because if I just look at what's going on right now, it's like a mess. You know, all of our vendors got cut loose months ago. I'm having a hard time procuring products. And the vendors that are getting me products, you know, the farms, whatever, it's almost like they're throwing me the stuff they don't want because they'll literally send me stuff I didn't order. They'll send me the incorrect stuff. They'll send me expired stuff. And unlike other meat companies, I don't pass this on to my customers. I'll take the loss myself or I'll try to deal with the vendor, but I'm not in a position where I can just tell the vendor, you know, to go fuck themselves, which I would love to do. But, uh, you know, in the future, if, you know, you have built up relationships with farmers and whatever, and, and something goes wrong, something happens with the animal, it's mutually understood. You know, with these larger corporate farm conglomerates and some of the places I have to purchase meat from, not all of them, you know, some of them are okay. It's just, it's not fun because I'm not high enough volume right now for them to really get me products I want, get me deals, do things, but we do have a couple of new products I'm excited about. And, and the reason I'm talking about those negatives is, is because that's the main reason I need to get a full slaughterhouse up and running, to get a farm property, uh, to really offer people the highest quality beef, pork, and chicken, raised naturally to the highest standards, fresh meat on a weekly basis, I think we want to even like wrap everything in paper and avoid as much plastic as possible. Obviously no antibiotics, no negatives in the animal feed. We don't want to spray the carcasses with any acid washes or anything. Just, just really how it should be done and something that no one else is doing. When you have control over everything like that, when you're able to have it from the animal slaughter to the processing, I don't have to worry about running out of beef liver and beef kidney this week. I don't have to worry about where I'm getting marrow bones. And again, if something goes wrong with the animal, with the product, I have recourse. I can go to another farmer. I can go to someone else. But now I'm, I'm in kind of a tough spot. So I guess in order of steps, as much as I would like a West Coast location, as I spoke about you know, last week, I can't be in two spots at once. Now the slaughterhouse that I get is probably going to be one that was already operating. So it's going to be a pretty quick transition over, uh, but it's definitely going to take a few months to work out the kinks get farmers raising the animals the way we want them and sort that stuff out. Then I'd really like to move into the value added products that my customers have been wanting, like a bacon, charcuterie, sausages, hot dogs, 
just kind of really perfect that beef, pork, and chicken element. And I would assume at least six months, a year into uh, the slaughterhouse being operational, I can purchase the farm to do the dairy and the eggs. And once all of that stuff is together and, and running and we have a really good base of high quality product to offer people, th that's where I can look into doing other things such as expanding a West Coast location. And there's definitely some creative ideas from a culinary perspective as well as uh, some kind of charity stuff I would like to do. But you know, I don't wanna jump the gun and you know, get ahead of myself with too many things. Despite the negatives with the vendors, I do have some products I would like to show you guys here. So these are products that are either new or I really like uh, for one reason or another. Uh, this is just really, really fresh chicken. Uh, you know, literally slaughtered last week. We pack it up, we freeze it. Uh, these two are just portioned really nice. This is actually a flat iron steak, four ounce portion. And these are beef short ribs, 12 ounce portion, which are really, really convenient. This is Wagyu chuck steak, and not all of them look like this, but this is a very affordable and delicious cut that you won't experience anywhere else. And I mentioned last week we have the wild boar in. These are actually the wild boar bellies. You know, no one's offering a variety of product like this at the prices we are. I forgot to show you guys, we do have all the flavors of the best bars in stock. We have berry, chocolate, vanilla, extra chocolate. I was actually gonna do a sale because I've been trying to produce a lot of these and get them out there because people really enjoy them, uh, but maybe next week. What makes things so difficult is people will come to you just because you have one product or two products, and once you don't have that product or once you miss it for a couple weeks, you know, they'll go and, and order from somewhere else. So as much as I'm saying I want to expand to the slaughterhouse, expand to this, expand to that, the reality of what's going to happen is you know, the order volume is going to increase substantially, I would assume at least two, three, four, five fold uh, by the time I get to where I want to be. And by then, I'm assuming, you know, the goals and the next steps are going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. It's just, you know, unfortunate that it hasn't happened already, especially, you know, where the current food system is. And just looking around at what everyone else does and the prices they charge for everything, I really don't get it. But, you know, since I'm down here, kind of every day. I think I'm gonna do a vlog like this uh, at least once a week. I'm honestly, you know, I'm not too happy about my attitude today. I'm not too happy about uh, the way things are going. You know, I am said earlier, I'm completely exhausted. I'm going half crazy. Uh, I'm not paying attention with half the stuff I'm doing, but I'm just gonna try to make it work for now. You know, just too much stuff going on. The supplement company, the Wi-Fi shielding, the uh, Frankie's Naturals, Frankie's Free Range Meat, consultations. Speaking of that, I don't even want to do consultations anymore because it's just a bunch of uh, secret society crooks trying to steal my ideas. I actually stopped doing consultations because of that. And I could increase the price. I don't want to talk about that today, but uh, hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what's going on. I'm, I'm trying to find some staff and get some help down here. My dad was actually helping me a couple days. I just uh, had a couple guys down here once to try them out, train them, and you know, people aren't showing up for work, you know, and you know, if I knew they weren't gonna show up, I could have came in earlier the previous day to make up for it, but whatever. So check out the products, let me know if there's anything uh, that you guys would like us to get. Um, but outside of that, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.